Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to introduce you to a free online calculator called Desmos. I have to tell you, I think Desmos is one of the most uh, powerful tools I've ever seen on the internet for a math class, and it's completely free, which is absolutely great. What Desmos will do, uh, in, in just a couple short words, is that it will visualize any equation that you type in to Desmos itself. And the first thing I'd like you to do is to actually create an account. And I'll tell you why in here in just a second. So when you sign into desmos.com, this will take you to this page. And I want you to go to this big red button that says Start Graphing. So go ahead and do that. Now once you do that, I'm going to show you just what's on here. This left-hand side is going to be a series of, you can put as many equations here as you want. You can also put in tables, you can put in little footnotes, you can put in folders, you can put in images, uh, you can put in, this is called a function expression, all that sort of neat stuff. And then every time you just want to add another equation or something, you just go ahead and type it like that. And every time you want to get rid of it, just do that. Just real briefly, let's just type in any, well actually no, I'm not going to type in an equation yet. On this right hand side you'll see there is a graphing, uh, there is a uh, xy axis. The neat thing about this is that you can exact, you can just hold it down, for example. And now you can just go right to the first quadrant. You can change the uh, intervals between each step here. So here you see this is zero, this is two, which would make this one, which would make this a half. But all you need to do to change all of that is just go to these graph settings and then just change what you want your intervals to be. Okay, so. We'll just say step. Each one will be step ones. All right. And then you can see now that I've just changed to one, two, three, four. And that was for the x axis. For the y axis, I'm going to make them step ones as well. And again, you can see how it changes it here immediately. Okay. Now, that's just a brief, brief introduction. But what I want you to do right now is to create an account. You can actually start graphing without creating an account, except that it won't save any of your graphs that you create. So if you might want to start on a graph for a project, then come back to it as you get more information. It's really valuable to have that, okay? So go ahead and create the account. Sign up here on the green. You can see I already have an account, right? But I'm just going to put my name in here. And you can see that um, this is the email I'm using. I'm using the school email. I suggest you do too. Here's my password. And then just go ahead and sign in. All right, and or just create the account rather, and you'll be all set. Okay. Uh, once you go ahead and do that, then I'll go ahead and introduce you to some other features that are in Desmos. Okay. Hope that was helpful for you.